Hi, everybody. How you doing? I uh, hope you guys had a good first week of uh, remote learning, and uh, I hope you had a nice, relaxing weekend. Um, hope everything went well with your week one assignments and that nothing in there was uh, too taxing for you and you were able to still learn uh, a little bit while you did them. Uh, the stuff that I got from you guys was very good. Uh, I really enjoyed reading through them. It, it really was apparent reading through them that you guys had a lot of fun with it and you got creative and you were very reflective, and thoughtful. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you taking the time to do a nice job with it. Uh, so, so thank you. With that being said, uh, we're going to move on to our week two assignment. I'm going to go through it right now with you. I'm going to give you a walkthrough, sort of what I expect, what you, what you need to do. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, uh, just shoot me an email and I will make sure I get back to you. So I am going to share the screen with you guys so you can take a look. Here we go. Perfect. So if you go to your classroom, this one right here is F block uh, for F and G, it is the same assignment. You go to classwork and then you'll see here right above remote learning week one, you'll see our new assignment remote learning week two. And you go into this assignment. You will see that there is a Google Doc attached to it, okay? And this week's assignment is you are going to be looking at the Louisiana Purchase. Good decision or bad decision, okay? We sort of did this before we left when you guys wrote a letter to President Thomas Jefferson about whether he should or should not buy the Louisiana Territory. So this right here is another instance of sort of some review work, getting us caught up to where we were right before the school closed down. Um, I think it's important that we refresh ourselves with what we were doing um, before we um, left school, um, close to a month ago right now, as unbelievable as that sounds. So uh, your mission for week two, uh, you're going to take a stance on the Louisiana Purchase and you're going to use facts and information from what we discussed before we left to decide whether it was a good or bad decision. You're going to pick a format and explain why you support or oppose the Louisiana Purchase. Now, the options that you have when I talk about picking a format is for this assignment, I'm going to give you guys some sort of creative license. I have on here that you could write out a Google document. You could do two paragraphs again. You could play it safe, do it simple do a nice Google Doc. You could also do a slide presentation on it, minimum of five slides. You could do a video or a newscast presentation, sort of like what I'm doing right now when I make assignments for you guys. Uh, and I'd be looking at about a four minute video where you talk about that. So you could do this, upload it to me, and that could be an option to use. You could do a drawing or a sketch, sort of like the cartoon assignment that we did. You guys could make like a little comic strip or a drawing about whether it was a good or bad decision. And you would need to include a number of captions. If you have an idea um, that is not on this list, please email me. I'm very open, as you guys know. Or you could ask me during the Zoom session if you have sort of a specific idea about what you'd like to do with this. Please feel free. Okay. Now, in order to help you guys do this, I have some things attached here to help you. We have the uh, reading why Napoleon sold the Louisiana Territory. You can use this to go through and review, okay? Pick through that, find some reasons. We also have here the Louisiana Purchase reading. This is the one that focused more on the facts about the Louisiana Purchase, okay? And this was the one you guys used the, to write your letter to Thomas Jefferson, okay? So there's this reading as well that you could use. If you go back here, there's also our notes on the New Republic, uh, the slideshow that we've been going through for quite a while now. Uh, when we look back, the New Republic, our new unit on it, and you would have to scroll pretty far down to get to our notes on the Louisiana Purchase. We're looking at right about here, slide 37, when we start talking about the Louisiana Purchase, okay? And you can use these notes to sort of remind yourself where we were with that before we took off. Okay, there's some information there. There's also a video here on Jefferson and the Louisiana Purchase and a couple more maps. This right here is where we left off, okay? Now, the last and probably most helpful tool uh, that could help you with this assignment is the picture uh, uploaded to Classroom from a while ago of the information that we came up with, the pros and cons list on the Louisiana Purchase. If you look, there are a ton 
of pros and cons. Here I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine reasons in the pros category. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten reasons in the cons category. Okay. So some of your cons are that it costs $15 million. That's a ton of money for a country that doesn't have a lot of money right now. Okay. It goes against everything that T. Jeffs believes in. Okay. So he struggles with that decision. There's going to be conflicts with people that are living in that area. Some people believe it's a useless desert. There's no laws established here that say that Jefferson can make this purchase. Okay. And now you have more land to govern if you double the size of the country. Okay. It increases the strength of the federal government, which is something that Jefferson probably would not have been a fan of, uh, you know, when you look at his political beliefs. Now, the pros are straightforward. It doubles the size of the United States. You acquire the port of New Orleans. You acquire full rights to trade on the Mississippi River. It increases your ability to trade, which increases your ability to in turn make money. The French are no longer a threat to invade through Southern states. It's a great deal, it's three cents an acre, and it allows for people to start moving west. It opens the doors for Western expansion. Economic growth, okay? And they don't have to fight a war for it. They just had to pay money for it, okay? So those are uh, your resources to help you with this assignment, okay? So remember, Google Doc, two paragraphs, slideshow, five slides, video or newscast type um, presentation, sort of like what I'm doing right now, about a four minute video, uh, a drawing or a sketch in the way of the cartoon uh, comic book assignment we did. Um, or if you have your own idea, just email me, okay? Your resources are here. This is due by Friday, April 17th, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back in here and you're going to upload your assignment just like every one of you did last week. You did perfect, nice job. You're gonna upload your work to the assignment and I am going to grade you on the same exact rubric I used in week one, okay? Accountability and personal responsibility. Becoming an active owner of your learning, demonstrating adaptability and independence, okay? On a scale of one to four, one is not meeting the standard, two is approaching the standard, three is you meeting the standard, and a four out of four is you are exceeding the standard, okay? So that is what we are looking at for week two. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I look forward to seeing all of you on Wednesday morning, uh, F block at 11 a.m., G block at 1 p.m., I do hope to see you there. I hope you all had a great weekend. Stay healthy, stay safe. And if you need me for anything, just shoot me an email. Bye, guys.